All right, before I get started, I want to let you guys know that I will not be providing any audio other than what's in the, the, the video, okay? What's in this episode, okay? Uh, I think, it, you know, considering my standing with the platform, they would be taken out of context and I would be punished. I would be punished harshly for uh, for this episode, okay? But, like, like I'm saying, I just want, want to let the good people down there, you know, the, the people of standards and practices, that, you know, on the platform, know that, you know, no no harm is meant, okay? I am all about um, uh, diversity, inclusion, and uh, uh, representation. I'm all about that, okay? You know, I, I have no hard feelings, okay, about some of our little, you know, slip-ups in the past, okay? And I... I hope that one day we will resolve that, you know, satisfactorily and shit, you know, so that, you know, we can resume our working relationship, you know, normally, okay? You know, if anyone's listening out there, you know, any of you guys behind the curtain, you know, I'd like you to take the, um, you've, you've classified my new channel as spam, so you're hurting people away from my channel, okay? My new channel that doesn't have any strikes or anything, you're, you're hurting people away from that, you know, I, I don't know if that's fair, okay? You're marking my videos as spam, my content is spam. People can't hit a link and go to my page, okay? They have to find alternative means to go to my content, okay? And you're hampering my growth, okay? And I don't think that's fair, okay? We've seen a lot of uh, suspect behavior over the past couple of years, if not longer, okay? I've been with you guys since the early days before your owners even bought the platform, okay? And we enjoyed a, quite a good relationship. I never made the millions of dollars, but that's in contention right now. You know, I won't get into it. But I want to say that um, I'm a very open-minded person, okay? I'm a very open-minded person. And, you know, I feel that, <coughs> excuse me, I feel that, you know, I'll take this moment, this episode to just look at things in the minority, majorities uh, community and how they deal with these issues. And I don't feel like I need to provide any commentary. If anyone else wants to provide any commentary, I would uh, like to remind you to adhere to standards and practices and watch what you say down there, okay? Because certain um, uh, someone may be watching, okay? But that being said, that being said, let's just uh, let's get to it. <laughs> But let's talk about the beer company. Bud Light, one of the most popular beers in the United States, hires a new marketing executive. The new marketing executive just talks gobbledygook and garbage that basically, you know, straight white heterosexual men are terrible and despite the fact they're the reason we're the number one beer, we've got to start to pivot and yet again this Dylan Mulvaney who apparently is the only trans person that uh, they can endorse ends up becoming the face of the brand, surprise, surprise, the people who've been insulted by the marketing department turn around and say, screw you. Mm -hmm. the, the, I don't know what Bud Light was thinking. They had a marketing director for 43 years who understood who their customer base was and marketed appropriately to them. Then they hire some woke Harvard Wharton grad who's only 39 years old who outlined her whole plan three days before it was unveiled with Dylan Mulvaney talking about how we had to move on from these frat boy customers who she finds disgusting, but who pay her bills. Mm. Uh, I don't know if she ran it by the senior executives because they haven't said anything. And I predict this woman gets fired and she gets fired publicly if Bud Light wants to save its brand. Uh, there have been articles now, Fox Business and others, who ch checking in with beer distributors, checking in with pub owners, checking in with sports leagues. People are dumping out their Bud Light like it's the tea party all over again <laughs> into the Boston River. Um, they're disgusted not just with the fact that this brand is aligned with a trans woman who's co-opting all these sponsorships and making a mockery of womanhood, but with the brand's disdain for what is obviously their customer base, which is working class guys. White, black, doesn't matter. Working class guys are the ones who drink Bud Light. You go to the sporting events, you go to an NFL football game, that's the beer in the stands. And there used to be almost a manliness associated with choosing it. It was something like a cool guy would do. 
now you, what you want is this Dylan Mulvaney who prances around dressed like Eloise from the books, like a child girl, like a little girl. That's your new ambassador? Of course, Kid Rock, the singer, and others are going to be dumping their beer and shooting their beer cans up. So they've completely misjudged their audience, and they appear to hate them. So yeah, there's a massive backlash. So far, there hasn't been to Oil of Olay, the skincare brand that caters to older women who are developing wrinkles. Why would you use a 30? No, Dylan is 28, a 28-year-old man. That's what Dylan is, a biological. To market your female product that is for older women looking to fight wrinkles. It's a pander. It's nothing more than a pander. And then there's Nike. The one thing a biological man doesn't typically have is breasts. Dylan is no exception. She's been hired by Nike to model their sports bras. There's of all things, Paul, not their sneakers, not their headbands, their sports bras. This is such a middle finger to actual women. You can't find an actual woman with actual breasts to model and market your sports bras, Nike. What is this? Hey everyone, I just wanted to give an update on Uncle Randy. Um, as you know, he had a Bud Light over the weekend and woke up gay. Um, we've been monitoring him, showing him guns and ammo magazines, and, you know, trying to bring him back. Things aren't looking too good, though. Uh, I stopped by uh, yesterday, actually, and he had taken down all of his lines, not sheep stickers, from his truck. And then I stopped by today, and the truck wasn't even there. There was a Subaru in the driveway, and I went in and I said, Randy, whose Subaru is this out in the driveway? Is it yours? And he said, yas, bitch. And he threw a handful of glitter in the air and did a backflip out of the window. So um, he's actually missing now. We're trying to find him. So if anyone has seen Uncle Randy, um, please let me know. Bud Light, since y'all wanted to do something, I'm going to show y'all how a real man drinks a Bud Light, all right? You ain't gonna turn me gay, Bud Light, that's for sure. That's for all you Bud Light queer hating Sissy ass I have a question. Do, do do gay people find this attractive? Like, is it like I I would imagine not. Like, well, what is that? Hmm. When you get caught drinking Bud Light after the boycott. Oh, you gay then? You like wiener? What's all this Bud Light stuff about? Hey, babe, give me a beer. You know what I mean. Thank you. Hey, babe, one more beer, right? Hey, one more light, please. Hey, babe, one more light, okay? <laughs> sure thing. Thank you. Hey, Tom, you want a beer? Hell yeah, man. I don't understand what all the fuss is about the Bud Light. I mean, it's a perfect shower beer. Uh, I've been drinking it. I'm not fucking gay. I don't. I don't understand. It's perfect for the shower. Hey everyone, I just wanted to give an update on Uncle Randy. Um, as you know, he had a Bud Light over the weekend and woke up gay. Um, we've been monitoring him, showing him guns and ammo magazines, and, you know, trying to bring him back. Things aren't looking too good, though. Uh, I stopped by, uh, yesterday, actually, and 
he had taken down all of his lines, not sheep stickers, from his truck. And then I stopped by today, and the truck wasn't even there. There was a Subaru in the driveway, and I went in and I said, Randy, whose Subaru is this out in the driveway? Is it yours? And he said, yes, bitch. And he threw a handful of glitter in the air and did a backflip out of the window. So um, he's actually missing now. We're trying to find him. So if anyone has seen Uncle Randy, um, please let me know. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh my god, look at that. It's starting to even look like a triple rainbow. Oh my god, it's full on. Double rainbow all the way across the sky. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bud Light drinkers switching to Miller's. Believe that the Lord tonight has set you free. Yes, sir. Turn around and tell those people. Tell them. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. I'm not gay. I would not date a man. I would not tear a purse. I would not put on makeup. I will. I will love a woman. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.